Hi guys, <clears throat> my name is Chris Kulma. Uh, this video is for uh, <clears throat> it's for uh, how to fix the uh, RetroArch update uh, signs the update one one dot seven dot eight. Uh, what happened is RetroArch is a nice, is a great uh, emulator launcher. Uh, what what happened very quick? It's uh, Google. Uh, they asked all the uh, creator for apps in the store to make their apps uh, working only on 64 uh, bit processor, and RetroArch Retro Arch was a 32 uh, bit apps so at the last minute there was uh, in the obligation to uh, make the apps in the 64 version so because of that RetroArch the application works but the the core the emulator for uh, whatever Dreamcast uh, uh, Super Nintendo Sega all of them, I guess uh, almost 50% of them doesn't work for now on update 178. Um, so if you buy, boy, th this video is for all people who's got the uh, rituals working on the uh, Android, but uh, I do this video how to fix it on my uh, HyperShield. So, if your RetroArch still on 177, what you do, the first fix or to prevent uh, to prevent the apps to be updated, you go on your uh, you go on your uh, Google Store, you go on uh, setting. And you press auto update apps and you uh, check don't auto update. So, what that means is when you're gonna go to my apps, you're gonna see RetroArch update, but it's not gonna be updated just if you click on it and you update it. But don't update RetroArch for now, it's gonna be fixed in the future. In update 179 or 1710, whatever, uh, or 1.8, but for now, stay on 177. Uh, if you're not sure about the uh, version, you click on the retro arch, um, and it's right at the at the bottom. Now mine is 178. So what's happened is when you play my upper spin and you're gonna click on some some game it's gonna be a black screen so now it's booting RetroArch but RetroArch is unable to launch the Nintendo 64 so that's the problem okay now second the first fix is to block the update and if you're unlucky and you you are in um, 178 what you're gonna do, okay, you're gonna disinstall RetroArch, you're gonna go to a setting, apps, RetroArch, uh, uninstall, okay, you're gonna go uh, in the HyperShield drive, so Explorer. Okay. You're gonna go on the uh, right panel. You're gonna click on the HyperSpin Shield NVIDIA. You're gonna open it. You go to install all apps. You click on RetroArch 177. This one works. So it's gonna work like it was working before. So 
we click on it, click install. Done. Uh, and also, I'm just checking something. You need to. Uh, Okay, you're gonna go on the copy files. We need to copy uh, two folder. So, and I push uh, shell NVIDIA, you open the um, copy files to root. You open it. You open Android. You open uh, data. Just checking if the recharge it was delete. Yeah. Okay. On the left panel, you open Android data. You leave it like that. On the right panel, you open Android data, and you go down to recharge. What you do is you long press A on it, and you press copy. So what it's gonna do? He's going to copy the com.recharge to the other side, from the external drive to the internal uh, shield. Simple as that. So on the, if I go on the left panel, you're going to see now com recharge. Okay, now on the left panel for the second folder, you're going to press, just click one time on internal, internal shell, uh, shell storage. You go on the right panel, you go inside the Hyperspin Shell NVIDIA, again, copy files to root again. You scroll down now to, uh, where is it? Recharge. Don't press on it. It's gonna give you an option, you press copy, and you press OK. Uh, do it for all, and you press overwrite. That's it, we finish with the uh, folder. I'm gonna wait for it. So that's it. So we quit. Now we're gonna put recharge in the, on the main menu, the 177 uh, version. You open it, it's gonna ask for permission. Hello, yes. Now it's, it's gonna look weird, but we're going to update everything. Now, the final step is to update everything and everything should work like before. So what you do, you go to an uh, online updater. First, you're going to update the asset. You can follow, you can see the uh, progress bar on the bottom. It's downloading and extracting. Uh, now we're going to start from the bottom. What's important is update database. Click one time. Update sheet, uh, cheat. Update joypad. Update asset. We did it. Uh, update core and full. Yes. Almost done. And we go to core updater. And you're gonna click on every core one by one. And if you see your progress bar, you have more than four and five, just wait a little. So um, as long as you have three, four, five bar, you can go one by one, no problem. So those car basically are the uh, emulator for all system. So you click all of them. It depends on your uh, internet connection. If you have a good internet, you can go fast. If you have a slow internet, you have to go slow.
So you click down, you press A on it, on each one. And if you have a bad internet, take your time, click one at a time. Make sure you don't see more than four or five at the bottom. And that's it, after that, hyperspin should work like it was before. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a, a nice uh, reboot of the shield to make sure everything was installed. Well, it should work without the, the reboot, but there's a lot of uh, core. Yeah, it takes about 10 minutes. And if you still have one <clears throat> system that doesn't work in hyperspin, uh, come back here and re-download it again. Maybe you skip it or something. You don't need all those cores, but it is easier to download everything. You may, you're sure that you got everything. It's better than explain which one and stuff like that. Almost finish. Okay, so that's it. We did update. Just a double check that all the setting we transferred before was there. Yeah. If you see, if you go on the second column, input, and you see the um, L plus R, that means we transfer. The, the files we did before on the file manager, the setting was uh, applied to the recharge. Whoop. So, quit. To make sure we're gonna do a restart. To make sure uh, the system where everything was applied. And I'm gonna show you that hyperspin now is working. I'm gonna try the Nintendo 64. So basically what we have to do is you can wait for, you can wait for the update for the fixed update I don't know when it should be fast but I don't know or you do what I just do you you delete ritual arch and you, you reinstall everything so so I did a video so it's easier to to see what's happening than explain on paper So you wait for the drive to be, yeah, I think it's okay. And I cross my finger that it's gonna work for that video. Uh, so I turn up the update for the recharge. Oh, maybe not. Yes, I did. Okay, Nintendo 64. I'm gonna click on the game. Ah, now it works. See, so now all the system that didn't work should work like it was before. Yeah, great. The shortcut works. Yeah, so everything is uh, is normal. I'm just just double check that the update is off. So it's not gonna. Because if you click on auto update, it's gonna update Virtual Arch at 178 and everything is not gonna work. So that's it. That's video. I hope it's gonna help you. And if you have any question, you can ask me. And uh, have a great day, guys. Bye bye.